I'm wearing my Bad Bitches Book Club, Miri, whatever the F we want. Because it seems appropriate for this one. So let's, you see the title, let's go. Good morning, folks. It is a crisp Tuesday morning when I'm recording this. I uh, look rough. I am not going to be putting on makeup in this reaction because uh, I didn't plan on doing anything today. I just happened to see something when I was going to bed last night and I kind of couldn't let it lie. Uh, I was debating on talking about this or Coho this week and I picked Coho, but then I saw this and I was like, I kind of feel like I do have to talk about it. So one of the perpetual arguments and discussions and debates that happens here on the bookish socials is about authors in reviewer spaces and authors hopping that fence into the review area and getting mad about bad reviews that people have posted about their books. And I'm not talking about when people go and they do those like mass, like one star reviews on goods or Goodreads because they're mad at somebody. Those are just abysmal. And I never think that those are appropriate. I think that's terrible behavior, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when a book reviewer comes on to their channels, whenever those channels are, and critically reviews something and has, you know, a negative take on somebody's work. And then the author and even their friends may show up in the comment section and just start harassing and being quite frankly mean to the reviewers. And Honestly, they need to butt out. Because it's not their space and it's very frustrating. And the reason why I'm making this video because I didn't think it really needed to be done because I figured like lots of people don't mind my zits. Lots of people have talked about this enough over the years here in the bookish social medias. But then I saw this video from Reads with Rachel last night and it just made me so sad that I wanted to throw my two cents in here and just be like, let's stop this. Like this needs to stop because we are calling reviewers bullies, but there's also bullying happening on the other side. And it's kind of like, look in the mirror, you're bullying. The reviewer is doing their job. They're being critical. You're mass reporting people's videos and TikToks and being like, they're bullying me. No, they're either standing up for themselves or they're, they just don't like your work. So I'm going to give a little bit of context. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything because it's just, it's too much to do that. I think there is a thread over here and this specifically is dealing with Piper CJ uh, over on TikTok. Uh, she self-published a book that she admittedly wrote in a week. And this is from My Name is Marion S. This is her Twitter thread where she kind of recaps everything that's going on. I'm not going to go through all of it. I will link this thread if you want to go and read everything yourself. I'm trying to make this a very quick video, mostly for me to say, please stop doing this. Authors, please stop doing this. Piper CJ allegedly said herself that she never got it professionally edited. She didn't think that anyone would read it. She has quite a large following over on TikTok. So when she asked for ARCs, she, you know, ARC readers, she got tons of requests. Um, this actually did end up getting picked up by a publisher. I can't remember who and, and got, I think it got traditionally pubbed this past year. And I wanted to read it, but then I saw that it's apparently very bad. And I mean bad, like it's just poorly written and needed a good editor. So there's a lot of unfavorable good reviews uh, that uh, talk about the fact that there's there's issues with, with the book. There's also been some questions about plagiarism because there seems to be a bit of a blur between um, nods to things in popular fiction, pop culture, uh, like The Witcher and stuff like that, and just downright stealing from them. You can watch different people's videos uh, on that and judge for yourself whether you think it's plagiarism or not, but there's definitely been enough that people have questioned it. Piper CJ has kind of been on the attack a little bit here, and in response to these negative reviews, and one of those people that posted a very critical review, maybe two, of, of the book is Reads with Rachel, uh, who's another YouTuber. And she does a lot of reviews, a lot of critical reviews. And oftentimes those reviews are very, very, very critical. And I, and apparently rub people the wrong way. And what has occurred with this is it's not just that the author is mad, it is that her friends uh, and 
fans have also gone after Reads with Rachel and a few other creators. And it's that behavior that has to stop. Like it really has to be stopped. I understand that you created a piece of work and you put your time and your soul and your effort into it. And it hurts to get negative reviews, but you cannot be allowing your fan base, your friends, even yourself to just go and attack reviewers because they didn't like your work. That's part of putting something out there in the world is you're, you're opening it up to criticism. And if you don't have a mechanism to handle that criticism, then perhaps you need to figure out if you really want to be writing for public consumption because people are going to be critical of your work. Even the best written things are going to have criticism of them. So this is the video I saw. I just want to play this quickly so that you guys can see it. I'm going to try to say this quickly. Okay. I appreciate that y'all are sending me screenshots of what's going on um and i hate that what's in the screenshots is lies and uh it, it seems like what happened is that piper cj has come back and said something um about all of this let's see she did put out a statement and that statement says i reacted poorly to my first bad review let me add that to the stream so you guys can see it i reacted poorly to my first bad review a year ago, it's a mistake I would never have, I would never and have never repeated. Any form of harassment or stalking is abhorrent behavior, not just from an author, but from any human. It's patently false that I would have, I would or have been doing this. I'm aware my friend did make a benign comment from two accounts 11 months ago. It's never happened since. Anyone making a comment, even well intentioned, does not have my knowledge or blessing. I should block people if they don't want to interact with them. Uh, that's it. I don't want to invalidate what this individual is going through, but I have never made a burner account. I have never stalked anybody. I don't ha even have the energy from for my existing account or to respond to people I love dearly, let alone partake in sock puppetry. I avoid hearing or seeing any takes as I know that they are not for me. Even this, I wouldn't be addressing if commenters hadn't brought it directly to me. As in the past, I only addressed things that were brought directly to my page. No one should ever feel unsafe online or otherwise. And I think that that's a huge part of it. I think this has kind of gotten out of control. And that's why I felt the need to talk about this because we do talk about these things a lot just generally. And things, this is not the first time this has happened. And I don't know what is true and what isn't, but it does appear like perhaps somebody has been harassing uh, Reads with Rachel in some form more recently, not just within this 11th month period. So there's a lot of like, he, she said, she said stuff back and forth. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to say, we need to stop this. Just stop it. Stop it. Get some help. If you have fans that are doing this, you need to tell them to stop. You better stop! Stop! If you are uh, a reviewer, you cannot tell your fans to go do stuff to other people. Like it is your responsibility to do your best to to control in some way your fan base. I mean, people are going to do whatever they want to do, but if you have viewers, subscribers, readers, whatever it is, you have to, you can be mad and talk about something, but don't even accidentally imply that you want anything to happen to those people. Uh, speak very clearly about bullying or anything like that. It just needs to be clearer that we should not be bullying each other. These are books you're not going to like them. You're not going to like everything. It's okay if somebody makes a bad review of your book. I shit on Stephen King all the time. I don't expect Stephen King and his cronies to be like getting my videos taken down because I didn't like his book. Grow a thicker skin. I, if you're going to put stuff out on the internet for public consumption, you're going to get backlash. If you don't want it, don't be on public platforms. And if you're going to be on public platforms, at least try to like do some crowd control of your crowd that you have control over. Anyway, writing, but don't send me any more screenshots. I don't, I don't care. I don't want to see anything else. This just made me really sad last night when I was going to bed because like Rachel looks genuinely upset and this is bullying. Like whatever is occurring really is bullying. So having videos taken down and flagged of hers that say they're bullying where the person's just saying, no, it appears like you may have cross the line possibly into plagiarism with some of the things in your book. You know, your writing isn't very good, especially for somebody who's self-admitted that they didn't have an editor. Getting told that you're being a bully for doing that is just crazy to me. I'll put up all the screenshots and you guys can decide for yourselves.
what you want to do with the information presented. The only reason that I said anything and I've been sitting on all of this with the friends and the burner, I knew about the burner in October. I can prove that. And I didn't say anything until I got a DM from somebody who said that she was saying negative stuff about reviews and reviewers again. And that's when I was like, I don't want anybody to feel as crappy as I feel and how Eska felt when this happened to her. I did have another TikTok that I can no longer find because this has been popping off for a while over on TikTok where people were getting outraged because another author, another indie author has had hopped onto a bad wa- bandwagon. I don't know what bandwagon, but like it seems to be the hot topic over one of the many things that's happening over on TikTok. And I'm honestly starting to think that TikTok is becoming like Twitter with videos because people who get really upset over there over things it's a little scary some days. This issue with reviewers and authors and authors hopping into the reviewer space and authors saying things like, you're mean if you leave a one-star review. No, it is my job or it is my right, I should say, as a person reading your book to say how I feel about it. And if I don't like it, I don't like it. And what's funny about that is that the person in the next review could freaking love it because that's how it works. Not every book is for everybody else. Not everybody else is going to connect with your book. Not everybody else wants what you, you've put out into the world. And that's okay. That comes with the territory. Get over it. If you don't like it, don't play in this sandbox, period. With this author. So I'm going to put up all the screenshots. I appreciate y'all, the messages and the support. I really. You can pause it if you want to read any of these screenshots. We do. Um, I don't want to know anything else. I don't want to know. And um, I just, my, the only call to action I had, I said this in the TikTok that got taken down, of course it did, was I just want reviewers to know. Don't want you to contact anybody's publisher, anybody's agent, nothing. I just wanted reviewers to know so that they could decide on an individual level what their boundaries were and what was best for them. That's it. That is my only call to action. That's it. Don't give a shit about followings or com- still publishing books that's I don't it's none of my business I just wanted reviewers to know so that nobody felt as nobody felt as crappy as I did that's it so here's the screenshot I'm going to try to say this quickly. So yeah, you can see like how upset Rachel is. And I'm not saying that maybe there's no fault on the other side either. This is not about sides or anything. I guess my only side is that as a reviewer, I think that it's really terrible that anybody would be attacked for their opinion on a book because that's just how books and book reviews work. (sighs) There can be the greatest piece of literature in the world and you could freaking hate it because it's not for you. Uh, I have plenty of people that I talk to on the regular about books and we disagree and we have bants about it and we tease each other and it is what it is and you make jokes. But at the end of the day, it's not important that I don't like this book and you do. It's not important. And then for the author side of things, you can't expect everyone to love your work. Get out of the sandbox if you don't like getting dirty, because sometimes people aren't going to like your work. Stop it. And reviewers, we can't be bullying back, and we can't be doing these mass one-star review things. We can't do that. We do this sometimes, and it's absolutely disgusting. I hate when I see that happening. And authors, we cannot be reporting reviewers for doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is giving honest reviews of works. If you don't want to see one-star reviews, don't get reviews. If you don't want to have criticism, don't put stuff out in public spaces for consumption. And that's really that. That's all I had to say about this. I will leave links to as many things as I can link. Hopefully everything stays 
up otherwise this was just a quick thing because it made me so upset the way Rachel just came across in that video made me really upset because I know that like I have I have teased about how Rachel is so negative to books but I also enjoy watching her videos and I enjoy watching her content and I enjoy how critically she reads things like she really is truly reading a book and giving you her actual opinion whereas other people just kind of read something and are like this was good and then they cast it off to the side so there's uh, there's work and effort and care that she puts into things and I appreciate that. I appreciate the effort she puts into her videos and her reviews. And that's what you want. And maybe you don't agree with her on stuff. And maybe you're the author of a book that she didn't like, but you need to keep your mouth shut because you can probably skip ahead to somebody else somewhere that is telling you how great your book is. And if you only want to hear positive reviews, I don't know what to tell you. Call your mom. Maybe she'll give them to you. I'm, it's not my job. It's not Rachel's job. It's not any of our jobs to blow smoke up your goddamn ass. So that is it. I'm going to finish my coffee. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video, whatever it may be. Because it's my channel. And I can do whatever I want. Bye. So just sit with me. Talking to the night until the morning. Building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next. Till me. Trying to find another one.